Today I'm going to show you how to paint these two cherries. For our member of EnjoyingArt.com, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our fun and relaxing Friday painting together. If this is your first time to our channel, it's all about making art easy with relaxation. Push like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. First, let me tell you the brushes that I'm using. I only use two brushes. One is a fry brush, it's gold here. Okay. Take care of the brush, just use the two fingers, right? Just softly massage it every time before you start using it. Okay. Now, the hair very soft, also remove all the bubble, all the air inside the brush here. Now the brush is ready to use. That's very sharp over here, very organized. And this is the calligraphy brush. The calligraphy brush can use for medium and small shapes. And the tip is very sharp, so it's very easy to control. Let's do a little sketching with pencil. So this, two of them together, and then have the stem coming up over here. I think I'm gonna have the fluid a little bit bigger, like that. Uh, drawing two of them together, it allows you to see the bigger uh, relationship. Now after you decide that, okay, this is the stem over here, that's good enough. And then I'm going to cut this into two. So this is the one and the leftover is the second one. Is that see how, now you can see how easy by seeing things simpler as it's a big uh, connection, then smaller connection. And then the catch the shadow like this. That's good, coming up on this side. All right, now I'm going to do a little masking because I want to leave those green color in the stems a little bit later. Now I'm going to use this masking fluid. I need to use the soap bar. Because the stem is just not that big, so I'm going to use a smaller sable brush. Have the soap get into the middle of the brush. Okay, this is pretty good. Have enough masking fluid. This space is not much, so I'm gonna have a little. That's good enough. I'm gonna take a look. Star from here. And here you go, just the way I would paint. And coming from here, take a look all the way, take a look at the direction. Here you go, coming over here. It's good, like that. And take a look on the other side. There is one over here. Here you go, connect it on the other side. So when you come over here, we don't need to mask it. That's good enough. Clean the brush immediately. All right, now I'm gonna start painting from this one. I'm going to take quite a bit of red color. I can start with the red color and then add yellow color. So I'm going to start from the corner over here. This brush is very easy to render. You just look at it and you can very good control and take a look. I'm probably going to leave a little uh, highlight. Okay. And you can see that this is uh, the color that we put on is not going to be uh, thick enough or bright enough. I'm going to leave the highlight right over here.
we have the whole reference library inside the enjoyingart.com. Maybe time for you to join us. I'm going to take a little yellow color, mix it in here. Take a look. That's good. And just a little bit more yellow, just like that. Look at it. That's good. Take a look at the shape and coming the bottom over here. You have sort of some yellow color. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna get some red color. And coming over here, let the red color and the yellow color merge together to create some texture. Here you go. That's very nice. That will be the first step. At the bottom over here, I'm going to lift up too much wet at the bottom. So I just let go all the wet and just use the brush a little bit drier. Just lift it up over here. And we can give a little bit more yellow color if we want. And over here, have a little light coming up like this. And we can have a little bit yellow color after it dries. Okay, so this is good for the foundation. Now I'm gonna walk into the next. I'm gonna come in over here, just add a little yellow color on the top over here. Star on the top here. Here you go. Like that. You can see that how easy. You just keep it easy in your mind. And take a look at that. It should be coming a little bit more. One thing at a time in your mind, so you don't have to cloudy your judgment. Okay, now I'm going to use the red color over here, like that. So you can see how helpful the masking. So help us isolate the problem, make it into two smaller problems instead of one big problem at once and a little bit too much to handle. And take a look at that. I'm gonna give leave a little gap if I can. Like this. You see how easy. Now I'm gonna come in here. This little light, I'm gonna lift it up. Uh, after it drive. Okay, like this. Like that. Leave a little gap. That's fine. Now I'm gonna let it drive before I come back to have the second layer, which is gonna be much darker. And let's take a look at this very much flat. We want it to look like it's turning around, like a from light to a little bit darker. So I'm gonna make a little bit light over here so it appears to be a little bit more orange colors. And just use this. Now I'm gonna come down over here. I'm gonna have a little bit more red color coming on this side. Okay, that's good. And coming on this side, I'm gonna leave a little bit in the middle over here, look a little bit lighter. So it's okay. Like a little bit red over here too. But coming on this side, I'm gonna have a much, much darker and even have a little bit feeling of purple color. So I'm gonna take a little blue color like that. And coming over here, you see that much darker. So this is the shadow side. That's good. Like that. Now you see the dimension. It came out already. Okay. It's very important to make it dark enough. Okay. I'm going to have even a little bit more blue color. Have the on this side much darker. And also have a little bit darker color over here too. Also on the top over here. 
Now you see the difference, very important. And the top over here also have a little bit more deeper color like that. I know that on the top, we're going to do a little lifting. And but before the lifting, we're going to make it dark enough in this area. Okay, that's good. Now I'll take a look on this one. Now I'm going to make the top over here a little bit softer. I also have a little bit yellow color. So it's have a little yellow orange color and the top over here a little bit softer. Like that. That's good. That is all right. The color blending in. Now I'm going to have a little bit darker color. Now again, the red color with the blue color make it pretty dark. I'm going to take on this side. Then this will be much darker. I'm going to have a little bit more blue color. Much darker color. Here you go. Coming over here. So you can see the separation between these two. And take a look at the bottom over here. Here you go. Coming around. All right. That's good. I'm going to have a little bit red color. We only use the three primary colors. So all you need to think about, oh, it's a little bit more red, a little bit more yellow, a little bit more blue color, right? Make your mind it's much easier to think. Okay, like that. And I'm going to have a little bit more uh, fresh color, and which is red. Just take the red color on this side. See that? That's good. Like this. Just think about the color, how dark's the color, and make your mind much simpler. Okay, that's good. Now the base color, it looks pretty good. And now we're going to come back to, uh, after it dry, we're going to come back to um, make some adjusting. Okay, I'm going to have a little bright red color right over here. Let's get like that. And on this side, have a little brighter red color over here too. And also the bottom over here, I'm going to have a little bit more yellow color. Just take the yellow color, have a little bit of water, and let's see. It will appear to be a little bit more yellow orange color. Okay, you got you to move the darker color in order to have the lighter color. It squeezes into the paper. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow color over here too. Squeeze that in. That looks really good. And we're gonna create some textures. Okay, like that for now. Now I'm going to start working into the catch the shadow. Now we're going to take a little short break and let this dry before we come back. Okay, now the color looks pretty good. Now we're going to come to lay the color for the catch the shadow. And it looks like a little bit light gray brown color. So I'm going to take this a little yellow color over here have a little bit more like a blue color. This color almost like the color we want. It just have a little red color. It looks a little bit too um, yellow. So I'm going to get a little bit more and have a little bit more blue color. Now here you go. I think this color looks pretty good. I'm going to use this color first laying that into the lighter area. And take a look over here. Coming on this side, here you go. Okay, this is the area for the catch the shadow, for this fruit, for this cherry. Okay, put over there. That's good. Have it connect to the inside of fruit. That's good. Like that. 
there's one and when I have another one over here take a look another side and then here that's good all right I'm gonna have a little bit a little bit more yellow even a little bit more blue color here you go I'm gonna need a little bit more water here you go like that I'm gonna have this color connect into the as just the connection like the stem. I'm gonna have a little bit more water and it's gonna be appear to be a little bit lighter. And here you go, like that. Connect over here, a little bit lighter. Like that. Okay. Now on this side, coming from here, connect that. Push that down a little bit and connect into this together. That's pretty good. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. Just use the water. Now I'm gonna come back over here at the bottom. I'm gonna have a little bit darker and have a little red color as well. Because right at the bottom, affected by the color of the cherry. That's good, like that. And also on this side, also even darker because there's not much light to get into that area. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna put this color right over there. And even a little bit darker over here. Okay, I think the cast shadow looks pretty good. I'm just open up this calligraphy brush as a flat brush and I'm gonna have it a little bit softer, connect that. That's good, like that. Now I'm gonna come into to do some adjusting. First, I'm going to do a little lifting with the one inch fry brush. This brush is, works really well uh, for lifting colors. And first, I'm gonna have a little bit light shape coming from here and a little bit coming down this way. So very easy to lift up the color. That's good. Maybe lift up too much, right? Just softly, just touching it. Here you go. That's good. I'm gonna have a little bit softer like that. And on in this here, I'm gonna lift up a little bit shape over here too, like that. Like that, that's good. And over here, I'm gonna have a little bit light over here too. Okay, that's good. And on the other side, I'll also show a little bit light. A lifting is very, very beautiful techniques for watercolor. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer, like that, make it a little bit lighter. Now you show the dimensions, looks very nice. Now I'm gonna lift up a little bit highlight in here. Just the corner of this brush. Okay, like that. That's very good. I think that's good enough. Now I'm gonna to come to this cherry, I'm gonna do a little lifting. That's good. That's good. It's a little bit, just turn the angle on this side, a little bit on this side. You see how easy. In my last video, and I talk about how to prepare this flat brush. If you already have uh, this brush, you just follow this step. I will put the link at the corner of this uh, video. You can go take a look at it. If you feel like you need to learn how to do that a little bit more time. And on this side, I'm gonna have a little bit, also lift up a little bit light over here too. 
And on the other side, also half over here, have a little lift up a little bit, showing the lighting coming from the other side. Okay, the highlight, I need to lift a little bit more. I'm going to make it feel like glowing. Okay, that's good. Oh, much better. Much better. Now on this side, I'm going to have a little reflecting. And here you go. Take a look. There is the reflect, reflected light from the table. That's good. And I'm going to put a little blue color, light blue color in it. Because that is showing a little bit cool color. Okay, much better. And look at the catch the shadow. I'm going to also come in to soften that a little bit. Make sure you use enough water. So softly. So you can make it really soft and relax. If you use the small brush, and you're going to do the opposite. It's going to create too much texture and it's not going to be relaxing. Okay, that's good. Right? Looks like the cherry is getting there. It looks pretty good. And I'm going to do a little lifting over here too. I'm going to lift up a little bit and I'm going to put some uh, yellow color in here. Over here too. Now I'm going to create some texture. Okay. Now it's good. All right. Now I'm going to add a little bit blue color first. Yeah, it looks like a little gray color. Not really much blue. So this, this is a little bit cool gray color. Okay, that's just good. I'm just going to put it right here. Make it a little dimmer. Also, make it feel like uh, more like uh, coming from uh, the the other side of the the other light source, not the same light source as the main light source. I'm going to add a little bit blue like that. That's good. And also here too, you have a little bit blue color and the different colors and shows to convince a different uh, light source. That's good. Okay. I'm going to lift up a little bit more. This clicker fee brush also do quite a bit of lifting. It just molded like a small flat brush. It will work. Okay. Now I'm going to add the yellow color. And mix a little red like this. Now I'm going to put that right in here. You see that? That's nice. And showing there's the gap. Some nice texture. Okay, over here also have a little bit more yellow color. I'm just put the yellow color on the top over here. Make the color look much richer. Okay, on this side, have a little yellow color over there too. Now you can see the cherry look like really glowing. And on the side over here, you can see a little bit uh, lights coming from the table. That's good. Very easy to do. Okay. Now I'm going to See, on this side, also have a little bit blue. You have a little red color coming from the inside, a little bit more. Here you go. Okay, now on this side, I'm going to make it even darker. I'm going to get a little red, a little bit more red with the uh, Windsor Blue red shade. I'm going to have this even a little bit darker so it create more separation between these two cherries a 
casket uh, coming in the middle over here. I'm going to just use the red. Here you go, the red over here. Beautiful. Now you can see it's really look translucent. Now I'm going to make that a little bit softer. And I'm going to have a little bit more, just the red. Just the red over here. Like that. That's good. That's beautiful. Okay, now the masking foot already dry. Now I'm gonna remove. Perfect. Now I'm gonna start painting into the green color. When you paint the green color, make sure you see how dark, how light is the color. So then first mix the green color with the yellow and the Windsor Blue green shade. I'm gonna first mix this color, make it a little bit brighter, and then I'm gonna add other color to it and make it a little bit more details. That's good. I'm gonna add a little bit red, so it's not too bright. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna start from here. Compare this color with the red color. That's good. Now the color gets a little bit darker. Yeah, and first continue this color all the way over here. That's good. Right, and on this side, the color a little bit darker. Let's first add this color here too. First, I'm gonna come in on this side. I'm gonna change the color when I come back. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna have a little bit brown color. So get the yellow color into here. There's a little bit brown. Actually, this is a gray color for the end here. That's all right, that's good. Like that. A little tip over here. That's good. I'm gonna have a little bit yellow. Now I have this color connected into connect with the green color. Now I'm gonna add a little bit darker color. So I'm gonna get this a little bit darker with the green color. Here you go. Now I'm gonna have this connect that and it looks like a little bit turning. That's good. Like that and connect that over and just put it at the bottom so it looks like the shadow side. Okay, that's like this, that's good. And in this side, I'm gonna have a little bit darker. It's good to have the light color first. So you can make it look more as three-dimensional. Okay, this is pretty good. And I'm gonna also have a little texture when it gets closer over here. That, that's good. I'm gonna have it a little bit darker. Is this good? Now this brush is, can be really, really sharp. So you can just apply a little, just a little color over here, this is good. And I'm gonna come back to that a little bit later. So I'm gonna have a little texture, a little detail over here. Like that, that's good. On the other side, I'm gonna showing. Here you go. Now, connect that up here. That's the other, coming from uh, the cherry from the front. Have a little bit like that, that's good. There you go. And looks already pretty good. Now I'm gonna have some darker brown color coming to this, the, at the 
connector over here. I'm gonna add a little details. And on this side, have a little bit like that connector on this side. Okay. Let's take a look at anything else. I'm gonna have a little bit brighter, warm brown color. So I'm gonna take this, have a little bit yellow. That is very brighter. Now I'm gonna put that right in here. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna have all I have of the texture over here too. Now I'm gonna come in here to give it a little bit details. I'm going to lift up a little bit. Take a look at that. I'm going to have that little bit light brown color. Just lift it up with the calligraphy brush. Let go the excess water like that. That's good. Now I'm going to put this little bit light brown color, yellow brown color. I'm going to put it there. So I'm going to have a little bit dark color on this side. You can see a little indentation feeling. And now this painting is finished.